Hey, welcome back to Timber Tuesday. It's exciting. Look, there's not snow on the ground. We've had nasty, nasty weather, ice. And here in the, in the south, when we get the nasty weather, we get a lot of ice. And I, I have a lot of people up north make fun of us, like, oh, that's not snow. It's not all snow. We had a literally an inch of ice on the ground, and you can't hardly walk sometimes when that happens. But we've got sunshine and dirt, well, mud, anyway. So we are going to get the sawmill ready to go over to our friend's house. We got those ginormous, I mean, I don't know what else word you use, ginormous yellow pines. They're like 30 inches in the base. So obviously they're too big for the sawmill in some ways, but we may try to do some chainsaw magic and get them on the mill some way, somehow. But, so what we're going to do here on this Timber Tuesday is pull the sawmill around. This is probably the last time you'll ever see the sawmill here. From here, it's going to go over to the farm. So we're going to pull the sawmill around to the shop. We're gonna change the oil on the engine again. Uh, it's probably not due just yet, but still we're gonna do it anyway. And then we're going to put new blades on, tighten all the bolts down. I got a few new parts to put on the sawmill. I ordered some new add-ons like the uh, the uh, little clamp thing to, to you could clamp down low. There's a cam clamp, so I think it's what it's called. And then I got another uh, log dog to put in this, in this hole right here. And that's gonna really give us a lot of flexibility for the sawmill. I know that's a lot to take in, but let's get started. So I got my Harbor Freight Hercules brand Super Duty Impact gun. Guys, I, I bragged on this a lot. These dudes are, they're awesome. Site and our neighbor's cat sitting up on the wheel of the tractor looking at me in the mirror. So now we're gonna turn around and go drop him back off at his house. This dude, this dude likes us. Hi, Mama. So we do fun stuff, don't we? So we're getting ready. We got the truck all filled up and the tractor with fuel. So we're getting ready to go to that lady's house and take care of uh, loading some stuff off before we be able to do the sawmill. And we the scenes because we fuss at each other like come on get this shot and she's like i'm doing this <laughs> so look at all that dirt in here yeah listen we were next door with our neighbor doing the uh septic and it's just mucky messy nasty and i hate the tractor being this dirty but so as soon as that, we finished that up, it turned right around and went snowed for, you know, we've been under snow. There's still snow on the ground here for like two weeks. And, and it was just absolutely too cold to wash. See, our thing. tractor can get dirty and our they're tractor, sturdy. It can get dirty, <laughs> but as soon as this is over, I'm carrying it to- Car wash. Lighten. I'm going to cut it to the car wash and wash it off. And then I'm going to uh, service it. Cause it's coming, it's got like 42 hours, 43 hours on it. It was, we had a- uh, Tractor, like a little old tractor like that, and, uh, and some guy um, was asking him how to do something. And um, he said, I guess I can make a video out of it, and so he did. We got a whole bunch of wood in the garage, and uh, we got uh, wood downstairs in the basement and to make cars and stuff with, and I just haven't had time with it yet, so. All right, so we got the tractor dropped off, the trailer dropped off, and now we're heading back to put together everything for the sawmill and do the last little bit of prep on the sawmill. This will be the first time we moved the sawmill to a location. So you guys come along for that ride and see, you know, we're gonna show you everything, the bumps, the bruises, and all of it. All right, I got my slow moving. Shady dog's having a little 
snack here. All right, we got a day's work done here. Check it out. We've got uh, the lights on. I went ahead and put a uh, slow moving sign on the back of this thing. I'm not definitely not going to go down the road with this 22 foot long trailer. It, at high speeds, we're probably going to use back roads to get there. So here we go. We're ready. All right, it's the morning. We uh, let's see the lights just come up. This camera doesn't really do it justice. The it makes everything look really really bright. But it is now. Uh, I guess it's about uh, right at uh, six o'clock in the morning. And got the got the lights on the sawmill yesterday. Got uh, everything hooked up. Got it strapped down really good. Feel pretty good about that. I hope you guys can see that. I'm trying to have me in here than that too. Not very good camera work. Tanya probably do better. But anyway, I got to get the chainsaws loaded up, oil sharpeners, all that kind of stuff. We put all that in the back of the truck today, and then we're gonna head off here in probably 30, 40 minutes uh, to start cutting up those big pines. So you look in the, the rear camera here and uh, take the next right onto Oak Grove Road South. It is really doing a good job of uh, the trailer's doing a really good job. So you can see in the camera seen behind the truck the trailer's doing a really Continue good job. Continue on Oak Grove Road South for four miles. Oh my goodness, I can't talk on this one. Shut up. Hey. Hey. Hey, welcome back to the channel. We are out here with Miss Jody. She's got some big old pines. We showed you guys these on a, a previous video. And I'm gonna put her to work. So she's gonna learn how to run the sawmill today. What do you think about that? I think it's great. <laughs> she's so excited, can't I'm you tell? I'm very excited. <laughs> she really is. She's been, she's been talking about this for uh, about a week now. We've been talking back and forth. So we're both excited. I've never cut pine. So we'll go ahead and get the sawmill set up and go from there. All I'm doing is you gotta level it side to side mm -hmm. in front to rear. What was that? My little scissors are in here somewhere. Or was water in here? Yesterday I was using scissors. That's right here. They were in here. I didn't even see that. I must have left them in yesterday when I was working. Well, honestly, a $2 pair of scissors is better to happen there in the middle of the log, because I am putting some uh, windshield washer fluid in the reservoir up here. And then what we're gonna do is put some pine oil because we're cutting Pine. I talked with Nathan from uh, the Out of the Woods, Out of the Woods YouTube channel. He's a pro with this stuff, and uh, so I'm going to do what he said. He said put a little bit of pine oil, uh, pine saw inside the tank, and what that will do is keep the pitch from sticking to the uh, blade and the guides and stuff. That guy's Nathan's probably sawed a million board feet, so. I'm gonna go with what he says. Well, the reason we run windshield washer fluid in the winter, cause it won't freeze. I don't know how much put in there. I put some, that's good. Little things that Nathan told me, he goes, put your fluid in your tank first and then put the pine oil in. He says, cause if you put the pine oil and then pour the fluid in, he said it'll bubble up and sud up. It's just little, little things like that, that he knows that, you know, you just don't know unless you do it. So, I just saved myself a big mess because I talked with him him first. We just changed the oil in the, in the uh, motor here and uh, I'm running Mobile One 10W30 synthetic and I'll have a thousand people tell me that's the wrong oil for a small engine, but I've never had one break down. So I'm gonna go with what I know. Choke. Anyway, hey, we are, I just want to let you know what's going on. This is like real life stuff. 
So this morning we get up, we got everything ready. We pull the sawmill over to the, uh, to the location. We're gonna cut these big pine trees up. We're all excited. And this guy right here forgot the, the big level to level the sawmill with. And and uh, I need to get like a tool kit, like, a, like an ammo can and mount on that thing where I can put at least a torpedo level, some screwdrivers and some crescent wrenches and you know some bare minimum things, maybe a little cheap set of wrenches on there. So that I have the bare minimum stuff there in cases like that. So we drive back home, we get the level, we get everything we need again, we think, and we go back back out here and we get the sawmill set up, it's running, everybody's happy. So okay, it's time to go cut up, uh, it's time to go cut up these big pine trees and get them on the sawmill and start cutting them up. Well then, guess what? I drove off and let that gun uh, chainsaw at the house. You know, I got up this morning and went out and checked everything again and, and made sure the blade was sharp, the chain was sharp, did all that stuff put the extra chains in the truck and somewhere somehow I, I left the chainsaw home so that's two trips back home so that's an extra two hours out of this day because I did not well I can't say that I didn't pre-plan because I did it's just that I am not used to moving the sawmill and moving everything that I need uh, with the sawmill normally I used the big tool rack, but I brought the big tractor that had the backhoe in it today. In the big tool rack, we had everything located in the uh, in the big tool rack, including the big chainsaw. So uh, that's the lesson learned. I, I think I'm going to centralize everything back in the big tool rack, and then when I want to go carry the sawmill, you, obviously we're going to carry the tractor with us too. We're going we're to bring the tractor with us, so I'm going to make sure it has the big tool rack because that'll be my, you know, make sure that I have everything in there. So. We'll do another once over when we get back to the house, but just thought you guys might want to know that. You know why you messed up, right? Right. I'm sure you're going to tell me. Because I didn't pack for you. That's right. She always packs. She <laughs> so it's, it's Tanya's fault. No, it's your yeah, fault. She, listen, you, you woke heard, me up at 5 o'clock this morning. You, you heard it here first. She's the one that said it. She said it was her fault. <laughs> really did cut some pine up. Y'all stay tuned to the next video. God bless.